So you have Red Magic 5G or 5S, and it says your device is corrupted, can't be trusted, and will not boot. This is going to be how to fix this. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to install ADB and Fastboot locally on the entire computer. So we have platform tools, which is already downloaded here, and we're going to extract this file and we're going to extract it to just, just the root directory of the hard drive. It doesn't matter where you put it, but once it's there, you shouldn't move it. So I'm just gonna drag this over. I'm just gonna export this right here to the root directory of the drive. So that's done. So now what I'm gonna do is open this, just right click any file, go to properties, and now for the path here, it's gonna be C colon backslash platform dash tools. So we're just gonna copy that to make it a lot easier. Uh, now we don't need in here, I actually don't need this at all, so we can just close it. Uh, we're gonna go to start, or you can just hit the Windows key and then just start typing in advanced. And then you'll see view advanced system settings pop up here, so we can click that. And now on this little window that just opened here, right here at the bottom right, we have environment variables. So we're gonna click this. And now under this section down here, this bottom box where it says system variables, we're gonna add a new one. And this is going to be a path. And the variable value is going to be the directory that we copied, which is C colon backslash platform dash tools. Okay, let's open a new PowerShell. So again, Windows key, PowerShell. And we're just gonna run that as administrator. Um, and in here, let's uh, ADB version. So now you can see that we have Android Debug Bridge locally installed anywhere we open PowerShell. So now we don't have to go to a specific directory to open this, which means that anything future with Android and debugging on Windows can be done locally through the entire system. You don't have to do any sort of directory changing or anything like that. You can just open PowerShell, you're there. Also, this is cross-platform with Command Prompt. So now that this is done, we can get out of here. We can go back to the files that we have downloaded here. Okay, so the first thing that we wanna have is obviously the phone and the phone shut down. And we will be needing a USB cable. In this RAR file, you can download 7-zip if you don't have that or WinRAR or whatever you end up using. Now, before we extract the Unbrick tool, uh, we need to disable the antivirus just to make sure that it doesn't remove anything in here because it's very critical that we don't remove anything if it does have a false positive for being a virus or malware or spyware or anything like that. Uh, this is an official file directly from Nubia, so it should be a trustworthy file. So we can open Windows Security here, Windows Defender, go to Virus and Threat Protection, and then under Virus and Threat Protection Settings, go to Manage. And then in here for manage, you can turn this toggle off for real-time protection. I already have it off, so we're good to go, but make sure you do this before extracting that file. Failed again. Oh my God, this is scary. I feel like WinRAR, I guess. Even the company that makes the phone can't even make a file to unbrick the phone. Classic. Corrupt header is found. Okay, so the file is corrupted. That means I gotta download the whole file again, again. This is the third time I've had to download this. <sighs> well, how do we wait? So, the Nubia servers directly are so slow that the files that I originally downloaded, they ended up timing up, well, the, the first ones that I downloaded success, successfully downloaded, but they ended up being corrupted. So these are the links provided here. Now in the next post below, there are mega links. This one here is the one that I use, non-EU, because I have a North American version of the phone. For the European version, you use this one here, and then this is the key that you have to copy when you go to it. With a free account on Mega, you only have a five gigabyte download cap. This file is 5.63 gigabytes, so you cannot download this with a free account. Um, I tried waiting for this one again, and it ended up timing out and just failed entirely, wouldn't even download again. I downloaded this, it stopped at five gigabytes and told me that I had to pay for at least a one month subscription, which was like, I don't know, six, eight dollars, somewhere in there. But I don't really feel like paying for a free file uh, if Nubia's servers just worked. So what I ended up doing was downloading the desktop sync app from Mega. You can see here, uh, the file is the one that I've downloaded and it has successfully downloaded. Okay, so let's just start downloading another file that I have. This is going to end up hitting the download cap and it's not gonna work anymore. Okay, so you can see that it's paused because we've already hit the download cap now, which it's actually saying is 5.1 gigabytes. What we need to do here is now that it's paused, we're going to completely close 
mega sync. We're gonna open a VPN. Now you can just download uh, like a free VPN or something. Something that has at least 700 megabytes of transfer data that you can use on a VPN. I pay for NordVPN, so I have unlimited. Uh, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to a peer-to-peer -peer VPN. So this is going to be like an actual IP address. So now that we're connected, we can open Mega again. And now that it's opened, we can start and it's just gonna continue from where it left off and now it's working. Even though we've hit the download cap, it's just gonna continue downloading and then we can get the rest of the file. So if you need this file from Mega because the Nubia links are not working, then this trick works to get the extra 630-ish megabytes that are required for the rest of this file. But now that I have it, we don't need any of this, so we can get rid of that. Uh, I am currently uploading the file to Google Drive so I can have a link in the description. This file might have to be taken down. I'm not sure how this person got away with re-hosting them, but it literally says in here that this tool is released for free. Reprinting is strictly prohibited. So this is obviously translated, but reprinting is strictly prohibited probably means that I'm not supposed to be able to host this somewhere else. So if they request that I take this down, then I'm going to be taking it down and it won't be in that file in the description and you're going to have to download it from these mega links. If they're fine with having a mirror to download from, then it'll be there as these mirrors here are still working and this was posted in July so they obviously know these links exist considering that Jerry Yin here actually works for Nubia so this is an actual administrator from Nubia who posted this link so if we right click one of these links here and go to copy link location we'll just open a new tab paste that in there and you can actually see that it's rom.download.nubia.com so this is coming directly from Nubia this is an actual file on their servers which also explains the translation and why most of this is in Chinese. So that's super awesome on them for actually releasing the file, except their servers suck and I couldn't download it the first time because it corrupted. The second time I thought it worked and it corrupted again. And then the third time that I tried downloading it, it just timed out completely and wouldn't even download. So uh, these mega links work. I have the file, I have it extracted, everything's fine. So now we can continue from where we were supposed to be before, which is in the files that we have downloaded. Now, these are the files that are extracted from there, and the first thing that we have to do is run Nubia Emergency Download. Now we can click Install. It's gonna extract the files that we need. But now the first step here, obviously this is Chinese converted into English because it says, please set the phone had in EDL mode. So we need to boot the phone into the bootloader and then go to EDL mode from there. Insert your phone into USB. So that's obviously plug the USB cable in. Launch the device manager from control pane. Um, but we're just gonna right click this and go to device manager to open that and then the final step here before we continue is we have to confirm the qualcomm download port had appeared then click the next so that obviously means that once we actually see that the phone's been recognized correctly then we hit next we have to put the phone into the bootloader hold the power button and volume down and then as soon as the phone vibrates we're going to let go of the power button So now that we're in the bootloader here, we use the volume keys up and down to select and whatever it says at the top of the phone is the option that we have selected. So right now it's reboot to emergency recovery mode. So now I'm just going to push down and now we're at boot to ED load and we're going to push the power button to select this option. So now it seems like the phone's off but it's actually in EDL mode. Now we can plug the USB cable into the bottom of the phone. I'm going to go to device manager. Okay, so this is it here, but for some reason it didn't install the driver. So I'm probably going to have to restart the computer because if this doesn't work, this is, uh, this is very bad. You don't want this to go wrong. So I'm going to cancel, exit the setup, and we'll reboot and try again. Okay, so I'm just going to wing this because I can't get it working. I tried on another computer as well and I could not get it to recognize. So what I'm going to do is go here. This is the phone and I'm going to go to properties and it says that it's port four. I don't know, I guess, I guess we're gonna wing it and just try port four, four, okay. No, doesn't work. Okay, I need to figure out how to get this driver. 
So I kind of got it figured out. I had to download an unofficial Unbrick tool for the European model. So in here, there's my flash and I run this here. When this program here opened, it automatically opened up a dialog telling me that I didn't have the drivers, which is right here. So this dialog popped up on its own. So I just clicked install and it installed the drivers for me. Now, when I go to device manager, you can see that it's no longer here with no driver and we go to ports. Uh, the phone's not plugged in, so it's not coming up, obviously. The phone, I'm just putting it back into EDL mode right now and I'm going to plug it in. Here it was connected and now ports just came up and you can see here the phone is now recognizing properly COM10. So now I have this running again. We are back at the point where we should have been entering the COM port. So now we can enter 10 and continue from where we left off. Now it's gonna download the software for the phone and it still didn't work. Awesome, this is great. I'm giving up on this. Um, I'm just going to use the unofficial tool since that was already working and I'm going to just flash the European version. Okay, open this, got it. Select button, got it. Click load. Ah, there we are. Okay, click refresh. Click the phone, select the images in the firmware. What images? There's no, there's no images. <laughs> oh my god. Um, what? I could not find flash scripts. Okay. Flash. Error. Okay. There really needs to be better documentation for this. Okay. We open that select button to select the images in this firmware. Images. These? These image files? Like all of them? Or is this folder supposed to be an image? Ah. Uh, Okay, um, <sighs> this is getting ridiculous. These are my notes that I wrote many moons ago. We need to install TWRP. So we have TWRP, so I'm just going to flash the recovery and then I can just flash a ROM, which I have right here. Open a PowerShell. Uh, fast boot devices, make sure the phone's actually coming up. Hey, look at that, the phone's actually coming up. Okay, so we need to type in all of this junk right here and I actually forgot to download these files. Uh, so let's download those. In here, we need to type in fastboot OEM Nubia underscore unlock capitals Nubia underscore NX 659J. Change the directory. Now we're in there, and so now we can do fastboot flash recovery, and now we can just take this name, paste. Dot .img. So now it sent the recovery file to the phone. Now we can do fastboot flash vb meta and vb meta dot img. Actually, I guess to speed this up, I could actually just copy these. Copy, paste. So all that's good. So now we, we can use the volume keys here and we can reboot to recovery mode. So that should reboot into TWRP now. So now we can load this onto the USB stick. Uh, this is the official ROM right here. And I'm gonna need an on-the-go adapter so that way I can plug the USB stick into the phone. So now that that's copied over, we can take a USB stick out, plug that into the adapter, plug the adapter into the phone. Now we can go to install. We wanna select the storage, go to the USB on-the-go adapter, select okay. And now we're just going to flash the factory zip that's right there. So we're gonna swipe to confirm flash and now it's flashing. So now we just wait for this to finish. We can reboot the phone and then we'll be on the official North American 3.16. Okay, it's done. We can wipe the cache for good measure. Awesome, now we can reboot. Okay, well that didn't work, excellent. Okay, try it again. So, the so USB stick is plugged back into the device. We're going to wipe everything. Okay, we're gonna go back. We're also gonna format data, so everything's good, gone, perfect. Uh, now we can go back and we're gonna go to install. Uh, select storage from the USB on the go. And we're going to select 3.16. So now it's flashing, just gonna leave this. Okay, so now it's done. So I'm going to go back, wipe, factory data reset, now reboot. Now let's see if it works. So now it finally worked and it's finally back on official 3.16. That was a nightmare. It took four and a half hours to get this working again.
So now I'm just gonna set it up with a null account. So we're just gonna hit next on everything. I accept, yep. Awesome, we're finally back. We've unbricked it. So we can take that out. Go to about phone and we have version 3.16. So it's done. We're unbricked. We have the phone working again. So now we can actually start messing with it in the next video when I upgrade it to 8.11 and then root, as well as a few other tweaks. That's it. This phone was a nightmare. It still is a nightmare. Even the repair tools directly from Nubia don't work properly. I don't know. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it. If you didn't like it, comment something down below if you need help or whatever. Subscribe if you haven't already. Or, you know, don't do any of it. I'm not telling you what to do.